Hey guys, in a recent video, I went out, hooked a wire to an abandoned tower, played a little portable ham radio. Well, you know what? It wasn't that successful. Did have a little fun doing it, a lot of fun. It got me thinking, you know, I've done some pretty unconventional things and, um, and had some fun uh, building antennas that were um, kind of uh, different, a lot different, actually. I built them out of uh, tape measures and, um, and slinkies, and I wanted to kind of go back and just show you some of the things I've done and uh, maybe inspire you to go out and uh, do something a little bit non-conventional and build an antenna that'll work and, um, and have some fun with it. Stick around. You know, one of the, probably the most favorite antenna experience I've ever had, um, I was over in Poland and um, was just trying to think of something and I, I was sitting around the office and I saw a bunch of tape measures. We're, we're all engineers and we're all going out in the field and it's like Friday afternoon, everybody's gone. I said, you know what? I got an idea. And uh, people make tape measure antennas. I know there's, uh, you know, the Yaggies. People make tape measure Yaggies for VHF and UHF or whatever, but um, I had an idea. I wanted to build one a quarter way vertical for 20 meters out of tape measures. So what I did was I took six tape measures and uh, all of them roughly five meter long tape measures, put one, I taped the driven element to the uh, to a pole, to a five meter pole, and then then put uh, the other five on the ground as a, as a counterpoise, uh, you know, as a counterpoise field or whatever, and, um, and put it all together. And oh my God, I was just so surprised how well it worked. Actually, when I checked SWR on this thing, it just flatlined. It was perfect. Everything lined up good. And then I got on and made quite a few contacts. And it was so thrilling to get contacts like these. I've got a real elaborate system here. I've got 20 watts, and I have a 5-meter-long tape measure taped to a pole. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, young man. That's not a picture. That's a 5-9-plus signal, sir. Tell me what antenna you're really on. Yeah, that was a blast. And, uh... Man, that never gets old when you, you do something and uh, you make a contact like that. Shortly after that, I actually made a, uh, a long, the next morning actually, I made a long path uh, contact on 20 meters from Poland to, to Australia. And um, it's all in a video. I'll put a link to the video below if you're really interested in uh, building something like this. A um, lot of fun, a whole lot of fun. Another type of antenna I've built, I've built this a few times, is a slinky antenna. You know, I take a, uh, a giant slinky, a little bit larger and bigger than the normal uh, standard slinky. And uh, if you're not in the United States or you're not familiar with the slinky, slinky is a metal coil toy that uh, it's available really inexpensive here. You can get the regular slinkies uh, under four U.S. dollars at uh, Walmart we have here. And uh, But I used a giant slinky on uh, the, a vertical. And this was, uh, I was in Poland as well. And I put it up on a uh, seven meter pole. So that giant slinky really stretched out. Underneath it, I put a nine to one un un and then a, a, and a counterpoise field of wires. I think I put uh, four uh, five meter long wires spread out on the ground below it. And with this antenna, once again, I made some really cool contacts and, uh, and had a lot of fun with it. Um, on top of this, after doing this, I get back to the States. I, I said, I got another idea. So I took a 10 meter pole. I took two regular slinkies and a nine to one un un in the middle of that and made a vertical slinky dipole. And uh, that was, that was a blast too. And boy, I was really surprised at some of the amazing contacts I made with that as well. There's so much you can do with slinkies and, um, and, that I still want to try. Maybe something more like an off-center fed. Maybe I'll use one regular slinky and one giant slinky. Um, a flat flat topper dipole out of uh, two slinkies. Uh, and I'll figure out uh, the feed point on that. Maybe we'll try that. I have a nine to one ballon now. I'll try, try that. Um, who knows? Just so much to do. I've actually built a vertical slinky with uh, old uh, QRP guys, nine to one on and on the beach, and uh, and had a little bit of fun with that as well. But um, showing you all these things because I'm just revisiting some successful uh, outings I had versus the uh, the one I did uh, recently with the tower, because I want to encourage you to 
Think of stuff like this. Go out and have fun. I think I think sometimes as um, as ham radio operators, a lot of us just get so caught up in making something a perfect antenna. You know what I mean? Like you're worried about loss and feed point, or you know SWR, the whole ball of wax, and really it kind of takes away from experimenting. And that's what I like to do. I like to just get out and experiment and have fun. I really think that's the spirit of amateur radio, and I'm kind of encouraging you. This is a few things that go back on it. Hopefully you can go back some of these videos. I know like the uh, the tape measure video was like two years ago. A lot of new subscribers hadn't seen that. And I'll be honest with you, it's one of my, my proudest moments as a YouTuber. I love that that whole experience of building that antenna as well. It was a lot of fun. So um, if you haven't watched that video, if you're kind of newer to the channel, go back and check that out. As well as the Slinky videos that I've done. I'll put links to those as well. And um, like I said, just kind of want to inspire you to get out and play. Hey, I've done other things too, like just taking speaker wire and wrapping it around a, uh, a pole and um, and checking it out that way, or regular antenna wire. I've done that as a spiral around a pole, like a long wire, and uh, you never know until you try. Get out, put something together. Hey, if, it, if you can't get it to, uh, if you, with, with an antenna tuner or whatever, you can't get it to work, chop, whack, hack, do whatever, and make it work. That's really what it's all about. So I hope I've inspired you to get out and um, and play some radio and maybe make some fun, non-traditional antennas. It's really what the hobby is all about. If you're into that, hey, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO. Keep building antennas, my friends. 73.